Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel of the Green Developer and here I am with yet another stream tutorial. So this will be in continuation with the part one. The link will be in the description as well as in the info section right here. So you can watch uh, that part to get a basic overview and understanding of the streams. That was a bit detailed explanation. Now in this video, we're going to learn how we can create our own streams. Now this is very much expected in professional world and we should uh, learn that. So my target is to make you market ready, to make you industry ready for this. This will be a shorter video as compared to the other video. The learning curve is pretty much there. So don't skip any part of this video as I might uh, discuss some core concepts with the streams, right? So yeah, let's just jump into our code and uh, learn the concept, right? The Growing Developer. So here we are back again with our old Flutter application, which does nothing. And on press of this icon, it is just going to add the counter. So I'm going to take a pretty interesting example here. You must have seen download progress, right? So what happens is we get the download progress, right? From zero to hundred. So we will try to replicate that concept, but using streams. And for that, we need to create our own streams, right? Let's see how we can create our manual stream. So let's go step by step. First, let's create our method. I'll say get dummy download, sorry, progress. What is happening? Okay. We have named our method. Now the stream and future are pretty much similar, but the difference, main difference is that future gives us a result one time only, whereas stream can give us a repetitive result, or we can say that it can give us multiple results. So let's create this method and change this method into a stream method, right? So first thing should be to give it a return type of stream. Okay, I am planning to give it like to return integer values from this method. Second thing is to tell the compiler that this method is going to execute asynchronously. Okay, so how we do that? In case of feature, future, we use async keyword, right? You must be knowing this. Next thing is that in case of stream, we use this async star keyword. What does this do? This tells the compiler that apart from this method being an asynchronous method, it is going to return the results multiple times. That's what the star stands for. Okay. Next thing is, if we write return here, right? Return means one time return. But as I'm speaking, the stream is going to return the result multiple times. So we use the keyword yield. So I'm going to write yield one. As you can see, there are no errors. So what this stream is going to do is that whenever we are going to listen to the stream, I'll get one value, right? Only one time because I'm yielding it only once. Okay. Let's see if this is working or not. And inside in a state, I'm going to call this get dummy download progress dot listen. If you don't know about this listen method, watch the first video. You'll get a pretty good idea about this. And then I'm going to just print this event as we normally do just for demonstration. Let's just restart this application. So we restarted this application and we got one in the console. So we were able to create our own stream and it is returning only one value. Let's convert this into uh, say that it should return values from zero to hundred, right? That that's how our download progress works, right? So how about inside my stream, I use a for loop and it should start from one, should go till hundred. A basic for loop and inside that I'm going to yield instead of one it should be I 
okay now our stream is going to yield the results from 1 to 100 let's restart this application and see what happens I restart this application and I got the results uh, let me just increase the height as you can see that I got 1 2 3 4 5 6 and till 100 so our stream is done right we are able to create our own stream let's see how we can use it into our UI okay let's accommodate it here so inside my UI instead of printing let's just inside set state why not assign this event whatever I'm yielding to my counter variable now those who don't know counter is just this variable that is getting updated every time I'm clicking this button this is a basic old plain uh, flutter application let's restart this application now you can see that uh, directly 100 is getting displayed here why because we have not given any delay or this was so fast that we were not able to uh, accommodate the ui changes properly so what we can do is let's add some delay okay so inside my for loop what i'm going to do is i'll write future dot delayed and the duration let's give a duration of 100 milliseconds i think that should work okay let's restart this application once again and you can see it starts by one and goes till 100 it should go till 100 so this way we are able to replicate how a download works now in real world applications while we are fetching the files the files that we get is in the form of stream itself so in that case we can get the download progress we will try to uh, have a tutorial on that uh, definitely so let's move forward and see how we can throw the errors and handle the errors as well okay so suppose after this for loop goes away i want to cancel the subscription okay you must be knowing that whenever there is any error the subscription gets cancelled automatically so why not throw an error throw an exception okay so what we can do is after this for loop uh, completes i'm going to throw an exception and in the exception we say completed okay now this is not an exception whenever the stream completes it's never an exception but it's just a concept that i'm trying to teach you that how we can handle the errors okay now in our previous video as well we know that inside our listen method we have the on error method okay let's see what happens here so put a comma here after this uh, method call i write on error okay it takes up the error and the parameters and i'll just simply print the error okay make sense let's restart this once again so we see that we are going from 1 till 100 and after that we got the exception completed and you can see that we have stopped listening to the subscription we have stopped listening to the stream so this way we can make our own streams now the possibilities are endless you can try making a random number generating stream you can try even the file system right try reading from a file writing to a file all these operations all these io operations are happening due to streams only okay so you can get a better idea onto that i'm writing a blog on streams as well in the parallel on my website the growing developer.org so you can always check on to that in near future so i think yes th th this was a shorter video with some concept but this concept can be applied everywhere at many places and uh, you should get a grasp of this so any comments any of the suggestions or any question that you have you can always ask in the comments so feel free to do that and thank you once again for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your colleagues your friends so that they can also 
know about the streams thank you so much for watching this video hope you are having a nice day goodbye